بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو دا فورتھ لیکچر آف آر کورس الیکٹرانک کامرس ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈسکس اے فیو میجر بزنس ٹو بزنس ماڈلس ناؤ وی آر آلریڈی اویئر آف واٹ بزنس ٹو بزنس مینس بٹ جسٹ ٹو ریکال بزنس ٹو بزنس ٹرانزیکشن اور بزنس ٹو بزنس ماڈل وڈ بی اے سچویشن ویئر ون بزنس از سیلنگ اے سرٹن گڈ اور سروس ٹو another business now speaking in absolute terms both of these parties are businesses but if we look at it relatively we can say that in a business to business model one party would act as a business but the other party would act as a consumer the business to business market is many times about 10 times larger than the consumer market now we are more in touch with the consumer market it is more relevant to us that is why we see it and we are much aware of it but business to business uh, transaction or business to business market is rarely seen by the consumer and that's why the consumer is usually unaware of it the business to business model or a business to business uh, transaction it mainly relies on electronic data interchange nowadays what an electronic data interchange is it is the electronic interchange of business information using a standard format a process which allows one company to send information to another company electronically rather than with paper obviously when two parties when two businesses are involved with each other a cert some certain information has to be shared a certain transaction has to be made right so traditionally such type of information sharing or such type of transactions or anything any kind of communication that was done through paperwork but nowadays electronic data interchange has digitalized these things so what electronic electronic data interchange is it is a process which allows the companies to send information to another company rather uh, electronically rather than with paper so one to one contact between the supplier and the receiver is established in this case through electronic data interchange right so a few conclusions which we have uh, taken from this discussion is that uh, business to business is business to business in absolute terms but if we look at it relatively still one party has to act as a consumer the business to business market is much larger than the consumer market and it will mainly rely on electronic data interchange and what electronic data interchange does it establishes a one to one contact between the supplier and the receiver in a digital form right uh, so making in it uh, making it in a digital form it makes it much more effective and efficient now coming towards a different types uh different modes a business to business model can take the first one is e distributor now before coming towards e distributor uh let's discuss a little about what a distributor channel is we are already aware of it but just to remind just to recall uh the function of a distribution channel is what is the function of a distribution channel the function of a distribution channel is to make a certain product available to the end user it can be a consumer or it can be any other business in other words we can say that whatever intermediary comes between the manufacturer and the user it constitutes a distribution channel now what is the value that a distribution channel basically adds to a certain product or a service the value which this distribution channel adds is the fact that a certain product or a service is readily available to the user at their doorstep this is the main value which the distribution channel adds if we eliminate this value then imagine that for any certain product or services imagine going to that particular place where that product is actually being manufactured for example uh to give you a very simple example uh we often consume a lot of products let's suppose we take an example of nestle pure life water now 
it is due to the distribution channel that nestle pure life mineral water is available to us at our doorsteps if there was no concept of distribution channel then every each and every one of us had to go to uh, shekhupura where their uh, plant is actually established so it would have been a very hectic job so the value that the distribution channel adds is it makes the product available to us at our doorsteps right so this was what distributor actually means now distributors when they go online when they operate online we can say that they become e distributors so e distributors are basically distributors who operate online right e distributors supplies products or services directly to individual businesses which in this case uh would be customers but originally yes they are distributors right so e distributors are uh, firms which supply products or services directly to individual businesses or we can say that uh, consumers in this case now one important thing to remember here is that when we speak of a distribution channel in a physical terms in traditional terms there are so many intermediaries involved in between we have warehouses we have distributors we have retailers and many others but electronic distributors uh they have less intermediaries this is why uh the statement below mentions that they directly uh supply to individual businesses right so when they are operating online the number of intermediaries decrease uh significantly then the other thing the other form which a b2b business model can take is known as e procurement what are e procurement firms e procurement firms are firms which create and sell access to digital electronic markets what they do in the first step first of all they create a digital market what is a digital market it is a place where people can interact and make transactions online right so what e procurement firms do they create an online place first and the next step is that they sell access to digital electronic markets right they create electronic markets and then they sell their access to different parties who might be interested right they create market then other people uh, different organizations they come they get access to that market they participate in business and make profit right for example large industrial companies have need for uh, spare parts or maybe any other thing they call for a tender which can be posted through e procurement system e procurement system uh, it can be a separate firm as well but even existing firms they also create their own e procurement system right so for example if a larger firm it is in need of certain supplies obviously in a very large amount so what would they do they would create an e procurement system which means they have created a digital electronic market and then they invite other people then they sell access to other firms to participate in that tender and whoever wins that tender will make some business with them right so this is e procurement the next mode or the next form which a business to business model can take uh it's known as an exchange now what are exchanges exchanges are independent marketplaces where large number of small suppliers meet fewer large commercial purchasers fewer or maybe one uh it depends on the situation right so the definition say the first point that exchanges are independent marketplaces right they they may not be owned by a certain company uh, or a certain interested party they are independent marketplaces and what happens in those marketplaces a large number of small suppliers come right large numbers of small suppliers or seller they come and they try to meet the needs of large commercial purchases and usually these type of exchanges these are industry specific for example um, one exchange might be related to the uh, arms and ammunition industry 
a certain type of exchange may be related to the computer industry so these are usually industry specific there is a movie known as war dogs it is a very good movie and i recommend you guys to watch it uh what is that movie about that movie is about exchanges right uh that movie is about a certain situation where the american government is in need of certain arms and ammunition so what happens that many people a number of suppliers they uh, they go and they join that exchange which was created by the american government and then they try to sell <coughs> a uh, large amount of arms and ammunition to the american government right the next thing is industry consortia now industry consortia and uh, exchanges they might be a little bit related uh, but they do have differences an industry consortia is an industry owned vertical marketplace right industry owned vertical marketplace and they offer variety of products to a certain industry now going uh, any further let's differentiate uh, between vertical marketplace and horizontal marketplace vertical marketplace is the type of market where variety of products related to a certain industry are offered right variety of products related to a specific certain industry for example if we talk about an automobile industry so a vertical marketplace would be means that all products variety of products related to the automobile industry would be sold there for example uh, engines transmissions uh, tires and anything related to the automobile industry in contrast a horizontal marketplace would mean that uh, a single type of product is being offered to multiple industries right there are certain products uh, which are used which which can be used in multiple industries for example steel right now steel is a single product and it can be used in any industry it can be used in construction business or it can be used in automobile industry it can be used in uh, space related industry or anything right so a vertical marketplace would offer a variety of product to one industry and a horizontal marketplace would offer a single product to multiple industries right so an industry consortia would always be a vertical marketplace and another important thing to remember is that it will always be industry owned it will not be independent right for example exostar it is an industry consortia and it is owned by rolls royce boeing and lockheed martin right rolls royce boeing and lockheed martin all of these three are very big names of the uh, aeronautical industry rolls royce is famous for um, creating jet engines aeroplane engines engines the simple engines boeing is one of the leading aeroplane commercial aeroplane makers they also make jet engines and lockheed martin is probably one of the best aircraft manufacturer some of the very famous names that we hear f16 and f14 and f18 f35 f22 raptors all these american masterpieces these are creations of lockheed martin right so exostar is an industry consortia it is owned by rolls royce boeing and lockheed martin and what happens there rolls royce boeing and lockheed martin they offer a variety of products related to the Uh, aeronautical industry right to different companies see so it is a vertical marketplace it is industry owned um, going a little uh, backwards uh, when we were talking about exchanges exchanges were first of all they were not industry owned and secondly they were not necessarily vertical marketplace uh the next form which um, a business to business model can take are known as private industrial networks what are private industrial networks these are digital networks designed to coordinate the flow of communication among the firms engaged in business together it simply means that when two firms are conducting business together one might be acting as a supplier one might be acting as a buyer right so in this case when these two firms are engaged in business there is always a need to have efficient communication 
now that communication can be of many types right order placement here it is a form of communication that we need certain product quality feedback it is also a form of communication right so private industrial networks are different networks which are dedicatedly designed to uh, coordinate the flow of communication among the firms which are engaged in business for example if i give you an example from our country now shaheen chemist um, it is a business and it is in it is engaged with many other businesses it is engaged with um, different pharmaceutical companies who send their medicine to them it is engaged with different uh, medical equipment companies it is engaged with um, all other fast moving consumer good companies cosmetic companies different optic companies it is engaged with many companies right so they definitely need an effective way of communication which in most cases is automated for example shaheen chemist has a software and uh, it keeps track of whatever is being sold and and how much of a certain product is left in inventory so they have pre programmed it and when the software notices that a certain thing um is selling at a quicker rate and they do not have enough of it in the stock it automatically places a direct order to the company and the company sends a certain product to the shop right so this is what a private industrial network does is that it uh, coordinates the flow of information between businesses uh, if we talk about uh, international so walmart uh, is a big um, uh, is a very big chain of uh, large stores and they also have these private industrial networks with their suppliers and they make one to one communication with them uh, effectively and efficiently uh, this was the end of today's lecture uh, if you have any questions they would be welcomed in our live session uh, as usual uh, the quote of the day has been uh, added to it and which certainly is one of my most favorite quotes uh, courtesy costs nothing but it buys everything uh, think about it uh, implement it in your lives have a good day thank you